Hello boys and girls, this is Stefmon123 of Imperial-Gaming.com and you're rejoining me for more Dragon Age Origins, um, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2. So, let us continue. Take a look. Good to see you again, my dear. I am sorry for your loss, mistress, but I can offer your son mercy only if he turns himself in. I'm trying to find him, but... The Templars cannot tolerate apostates. This will be mother if we're not careful. <laughs> I'm guessing that Templar wasn't here to offer your son his good wishes. I am Ariani. My boy, Fainriel. He's all I have. All my family. When I learned he had magic, I could not bear to send him to the Circle. But his connection to the Fade, it gives him nightmares, dreams of demons speaking in his mind. I would rather lose him to the Circle than to himself. Did your son run away? He learned I had contacted Sir Thrask. He felt I betrayed his trust. He thinks he can live free of the Circle. But I am afraid without proper training, he'll kill himself. Those look like Dalish tattoos. Why do you live in the city? I was born to the Dalish, but came to Kirkwall for a time and dallied with a human merchant, Vincento. When I found I was with child, neither Vincento nor my tribe wished the burden of an elf-blooded human infant. I raised Fainriel myself, here in the alienage. Tell me the whole story. I learned years ago that my son likely had magical talent, but we could not bear the thought of him locked in the gallows. So we hid. When the nightmares began, Fainriel still refused to contact the Circle. But I... I truly think they are the only people who might save his life. Abominations are always so awkward at family reunions. No, please, you must find him before... Before the demons finish their work, he must be brought to safety. If you won't do it for Fainriel, do it for Kirkwall. The Templars say a lad like my son is a danger to the whole city if left untrained. I'll bring your son back to safety, I promise. I don't know where Fainriel has gone, but there are two places you might start your search. Sir Thrask has been looking for him. If you speak to him in the gallows, he'll be able to tell you what ground he's already covered. And Fainriel's father, Vincento, recently returned from Antiva. He's a merchant in the Low Town Bazaar. Fainriel might have sought him out. Tell me about this Templar. I believe he's a good man. He doesn't hate mages, but sees what it took me too long to realize. Even the best intentioned mages are at the mercy of their sleeping minds. So they don't always just make you disappear, like it seems. There are other Templars who are much less sympathetic. You and Fenriel's father are not married. Vincento had no desire for a wife or an elf-blooded child. I haven't seen him since the day I told him. I have written, though, to keep him informed about his child. Fenriel wanted to meet him. I will not leave you fearful for a moment longer than necessary. He ought to have his own life, out from the shackles of the Circle. Everyone should. The boy sounds one breath away from becoming an abomination. Let's get to him, fast. Thank you. It has been a lonely time hiding. It's almost a relief to finally confront this openly. Okay, so we have new questage. I wish we could do without places like this. I really do. Did you approve my application? I can't make you a guard, Carver. We were both soldiers. Why won't they take me? I was an officer, and I follow orders. No, you don't. I also think of others before myself. You seem tired of that, and that's dangerous. Just when it's not my choice. You told them not to take me, didn't you? Yes. Everyone, please. 
please just step back? My mother's in late. If you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? I hear you know where I can find a Ferelden Grey Warden. Only Ferelden Grey Warden I've heard of slew the Archdemon to save us all. Fat lot they care here. We're out of the Blight's path now. Why would you need a Warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A Warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. Then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. You see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? Oh, perish the thought. Another delicate mage flower. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows I just really for using like the gifts that, the Maker gave him. Your healer is in no danger from me. Right. Perfectly safe if he cooperates. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. Please, my mother, don't let another her lose another baby. Quest to go sort out. Okay, this is a low spell over here. Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. I don't wanna kill him. You want him safe? Don't pick fights with other Ferelden's while the Templars are after us all. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our Queen Anora. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to pick a fight with us, then. <laughs> Greetings, Sarah. You look like a man who'd be interested in the finest and even steel to grace his hand. I bring only the best northern merchandise to the free marches. Actually, I'm more interested in your son. Son? I have never had that privilege, Sarah. My poor wife, she's back in Antiva and cannot see me often with my travels. That's the best you can do with a guard staring you in the face. Let us not ruin the day with such weighty thoughts. Perhaps I could show you my silks. We're not tempted, Sarah. Fenriel has nothing to fear from us. Maldithun, you are a mate. I suppose you'd be kind then to a boy who resists being taken in by Templars? To an elf-blooded child abandoned by his human father? Of course we would. The boy's in over his head. So I sent him to the only man I know who doesn't despise mages. A former Templar named Samson. Mm, this scared it Why would a Templar help him? His conscience plagues him, having served the Templars too long. He now helps mages on the run. He stays out of sight during the day. At night, he stays near Darktown. That's the best place to find him. So, you're not like a lot of other girls? No, I'm an elf. Right. All right then. Oh, did I miss something dirty? 
What? No, it, it wasn't dirty. It wasn't anything. <laughs> oh, right. Because I miss a lot of dirty things, and sometimes I wouldn't mind hearing them. Would you now? Okay. Let's see. Let's go home first. See what's going on there. So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he get If you're looking for work, there's a rich merchant in a hotel he's got See if there were coins inside. I, I was worried they would fall out. Oh, Here, I got you something. Why? We ended on a tense note last time. Take it as you will. These are by father. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? I bet another mage could get more out of them. Just take the gift, dickhead. <laughs> for your service that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, conscience of the order, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver? The Templar who allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prig? Father must have felt he was worth honoring. A man who let him look ahead. And a name that would always mean skill thoughtfully applied. Seems like he thought it held some promise. Not a link back, but how to go forward. That's what I was to him. I don't know what to say, except thank you. Anything? I don't know. Got a little content out of that chest. Huh? Cardinal rules of magic. Most stuff to read later. I've had word from Lothering. They are rebuilding. I don't know if I could ever return to the site of such horrors. Your mother's busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories. Okay, let's head to Dark Town. Low time seems to have gone up a hell of a lot. It might be because I'm rendering video in the background, so I apologise for that. But if I render it now, I can upload it while I'm asleep. Ah, here's the healer.
place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. Of what? The Deep Roads. Did the Warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. <laughs> he hated the Deep Roads. Gotta investigate the cat. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the Deep Roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. He drew blood too. <laughs> the blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes, I'm here because there's no warden outpost, no darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with, and some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area, but there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend, a mage, a prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. I would help any mage in such circumstances, map or no. Better make this good. We're risking a lot if we anger the Templars. I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. Okay. Carver really doesn't like anything to do with mages, does he? But screw him. Oh, let me just um, check something as well. It's not what I'm looking for. No. No good. Not yet. 20 strength. Sometimes. Blackberries. They don't seem to grow here. And there were little songbirds with black caps on their heads. I sort of missed the dogs barking. Yes. It's mostly been humans barking at me here. Not nearly as cute. <laughs> Okay, let's go to High Town, see what we can do there in the daylight. One thing that I am hoping is that we're not going to be contained to this area. I hope we get to travel soon. You there, Freldon. I wish to speak with you. You've gained quite a reputation with the Red Iron Mercenary Band. I find myself in need of someone with your special talents. I'm guessing you don't mean my ability to juggle small rodents to Orlesian ballads. If that is your greatest skill, then I have been misinformed. I am looking for muscle, not whatever it was you were just describing. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. A request that should have been made of the guard. 
Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. Is there anything else I need to know? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, quickly and quietly. Not only will you be well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Your people came a long way, Meryl. But I'd like to think we have Ferelden in common. I never saw Lothering. Did you walk as much as we did? Probably more. You didn't start with Hala. Our ship stunk. Your ship? There was something foul in the hold. Oh, I can still smell it. Oh, well, that must have been unpleasant. It was. Did I miss another dirty thing? No. <laughs> Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. It serves me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden's. They may be dull-witted, but they're not superstitious. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. You said some of your workers are Ferelden. Of course. Who else would be pathetic enough? Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Okay. I think I found something of yours. I I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. There we go, now we'll um venture on. Go to the Vice Count's keep. I'm trying to finish everything on the daytime map before I switch to the nighttime map. Insist if you must, but Viscount Dumas will see no one. If you've news of Seamus, I will relay it to him. Fine. Tell Dumas my scouts have tracked the boy and his canary captor to the wounded coast. I'm taking a full company uh. after them, and when I return, I expect him to make a show of the reward. So many to deal with one Kunari seems... excessive. He may be Talbot Shoth. The winters leave nothing to chance. Get out of my bloody way! Yes, what is it? Looks like I'm not the only one who saw the bounty posting. Apparently so. And I am regretting it. As I told the others, Viscount Dumas' son, Seamus, is missing. We suspect he was taken by a Kunari. 
If you would like to try your hand at securing his safe return, feel free. I have certainly granted no exclusivity to the Winters and their violent approach. There must be suspicions about why the boy went missing. Why? What have you heard? Nothing. Until now. There is truly nothing known. He is gone. And there have been sightings of a Kunari. The only complication is that Seamus is known to be of a sympathetic mind. He may have placed himself in danger, but it is danger nonetheless. The Kunari are not wild in the city. Petition their leader for the boy's return. The Arashok has declared that it is not his role to do so. Apparently their rebels, the Talvashoth, are hunted anyway, killed for what they are, not for what they may have done. That does not bode well for Seamus. This isn't a task for a guardsman. Yes, isn't it? There is a concern of appearance. If we used guards, it would allow Viscount Dumas' opponents to say this admits the Kunari threat because the city responded. In these times, public embarrassment is preferable to official embarrassment. The boy will be home soon enough. Okay. Declare it if you like, but the reward goes to whomever brings him back safe. A discussion you are welcome to have with the Winters, should you encounter them on the wounded coast. We've got a lot of dark ominous names for um, these places, haven't we? Good day to you. The Viscount must be terribly busy. Not much room in the barracks, but there's nowhere I'd rather be. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your wimps. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show-offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? My Sounds like um, somebody's taking some go, coin. Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours? It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignments. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. Sounds like the captain. You're is sure you want to up. pursue this? This is your superior we're talking about. If a guard has been put at risk, a good captain would want to know why. And if he's not a good captain, I want to know why. A messy way to pass information, and Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Okay, let's move. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day.
so we can now move to the night map. Do the low town missions first. Loading. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help. Okay, this is turning into a real messy combo. How can these nighttime streets be so dangerous? We should clear these. Get thugs out. 
Alright, let's get people healed up and shit. one really annoying thing, it looks like you've got to go onto each character to get them to use an injury kit. Yeah, it looks like you've got to select each character individually. Are you answer? Ah! Sweet mother of birth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. I'd pay to see that. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. I'll get it back for you. Sure. No Add it to the list of things I'm accessory to. Oh, thank goodness. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. Well, if it ain't my favorite new citizen, what are you doing here? That's what I'm wondering. Did you finally figure out being free and poor in Kirkwall ain't worth a rat spit? You had an offer for me. You mean you're not too good for my kind of work? Because the blokes I hired after you couldn't find their ass with both hands. I sent them to take out Lord Harriman while he was preparing his cargo for shipping. Nighttime, docks, simple. Never came back. I haven't heard a job in this yet. The job's the same. Kill Harriman, but there'll be a bonus if you find my men alive. I assume this isn't personal. Job's paid for second hand by some other old Kirkwall family. The nobles here like to shank each other for sport. We're just their knives. Who's Lord Harriman? I don't know the who, but the what is old and rich. Rumor says he's a savvy one. His daughters give him marriage ties to half the city. I'm sure I can finish what they started. They were supposed to ambush him at the docks. That'd be the best place to start looking. And remember, Harriman dead, I my lad Gustav alive. Like me. But the way around, then you don't get paid. We can't waste time, Hawk. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. Yes, we're looking for him. We're just taking slight detours along the way.
Okay, that was a lot easier than the first fight. This is going badly. Seems to be a lot of archers in this part of town. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, old Vincento said someone might come sniffing around. You're looking for the boy, right? Feign something. I'll tell you now, there's not much I can do for you. I'm looking for a retired Templar named Samson. Uh, retired? Sounds better than burned out husk of a Templar begging coins in the choke tap. They don't do anything to keep you, you know. You join the order, you're free to walk away. But they're the only ones who've got the dust. The dust? Lyrium, an ore the dwarves mine. Magic in its raw form. You need to drink the stuff to face down the magickers. Problem is, if you ever try to stop, oh, it just about kills you. Is it true you give aid to apostates fleeing the Templars? The mages are help. They're no more than children, newly discovered their magic and terrified. Barely left their mother's skirts, and now we're saying they got to be locked away for their own good. That demons are hunting them. Do you wonder they run? Did you meet the boy? Afraid so. Blighter was dead broke, though. Not a silver on him. I help one mageling for free, and I'll never get paid again. Charity to a point, I see. I pointed him to a ship captain I know, Rayner. Sometimes he'll take on runaways. Took another apostate last week, girl I sent him. Might have gone wrong, though. I heard rumors he took the both of them captive instead. Please tell me it's not too late to save him. Rumor has it, Rayner had the pair of them locked inside a Keys warehouse, somewhere close to Dockside. You want to go looking? You might find the lad before he gets ransomed to the Templars. Or worse. We must be getting close to the ambush. I'm not losing it. but there were too many at once. The captain said this route was supposed to be quiet. The seal of the Viscount. Office details, city accounts. Valuable to a guild of thieves. A sacrificial delivery with one of our own. Captain Jevon will answer. Exposing this kind of corruption could make the guards look weak. Then we look weak. The others deserve better. This goes to the office of the Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. Okay, so there's massive corruption in the ranks. Oh, 
Alright, and I think that's it for this area. Check that shield quickly. Yeah, that's more like it. She might not be able to use that yet, but she will be soon. Oh no, there's one more quest up the side, by the looks of it. Whoa, that's a lot of bad guys. is used it just at the right time with the right Okay. Let's gather any loot we can find. Okay, we'll go in here. choice but to go back to Anso and tell him. Yep, nothing else in here by the looks of it. Oh and I can smell my food is almost cooked so I will be cutting off soon. Ah, what's going on here then? That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. Yeah, kill me.
folks in trouble. Somebody get down here and help him. Where are you going? Okay. Who wasn't expecting that when we walked out? And that is now all the quests in this area complete by the looks of it. Or maybe not. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Maybe I should have healed Lieutenant, them. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! Huh? Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running Ooh. back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. This guy's badass. You were responsible for this. I'm the reason you're here, yes. My name is Fenris. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. Everything Anso said was a lie, then? Not everything. Your employer was simply not who you believed. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? Yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house? It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You're expecting something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. And now, this might be the end of the questing here. Not the end of the fighting though, it is.
Maybe it wasn't a dream. Never mind. This is where I'm going to cut this video, guys, because my food is ready. So I will be back soon.